Hello, and thank you for joining me again today. Today, we're going to delve into searching and using the browser. So as I've said before, I'm a huge fan of perplexity for doing searching. I don't use Google anymore. And I just want to show you a way how you can easier in your browser if you want to do the same thing. So the current approach is if you want to go search for anything, you would go to Google and then we search for whatever and come back with results and get the usual deal. So that's one way. To if you want to search on perplexity, go into the same tab or a different tab. And amazingly enough, even though I'm spelling my name here, it's smart enough to figure it out and still give us the right results. Amazing. Okay, so let's say you always wanted to use perplexity from now on because it's so much better than getting 10 links. You actually get the answer you're looking for, which is why I highly recommend perplexity. And there are some other people coming on board right now, like Search GPT, they'll do similar type functionality, but for now, perplexity is definitely the king. So the way you do that in a browser, instead of going constantly to perplexity AI or starting a new tab or anything like that, you can just go to the settings, your Chrome browser, and you go to select settings from the menu. And under the settings on the left side, you will see an option called search engine. So you click on that. And as you can see, by default, it's looking for something on using Google. So if I wanted to change it, notice that I have these additional options, but I don't have an option for complexity. Okay. Which is a problem. So what you want to do is you want to go down here where it says manage search changes and site search. You click on that and it gives you additional options. And you can see over here, you got these options, you got other options, you got other options. And basically you're looking and looking, there's nothing there. So if you do have perplexity already in there, you can just type in search at the top perplexity in the search here and it'll come up as an option if it doesn't you can always click on add and just type in perplexity.ai to add it so you can definitely make it work that way in my case i already have it shortcut is not anything you absolutely mandatorily have to have but i highly recommend it. so shortcut would enable you to go and use that particular search engine instead of using the default so I'm going to go ahead and click on the little edit icon here and I can change the shortcut. I can change the name and URL where it is. That's basically what it looks like. So once you see perplexity in the list here, you click on the little pull down menu here, the hamburger menu, and you can see it has an option called make default. So you click on that and now perplexity would be the default search engine. So now if we go to some other website, it doesn't matter what it is. And we sit there and if we want to search for anything, if I click on enter, you will see it'll come back with the answer from perplexity. Okay. So that's how you set it up to always use perplexity. Whenever you're typing anything in the Omnibar, it'll always give you the results from perplexity. Let's say you wanted to use a different, let's say for whatever reason you wanted to do another search on Google. So instead of changing it back to Google, which is obviously a hassle, what you can also do is you can use these shortcuts to be able to go directly to search using that particular search engine. In my case, I have Google set up with GO as shortcut. So if I simply type in GO and then either hit tab or a space bar, then it says search Google. I can just go ahead and type in my search string, enter, and now it's going to give me results from Google. So again, default here is my case is perplexity and the other search changes you can still use if you set them up and you have some shortcuts you can still use them as well on the fly like this without changing the default so just wanted to run this by you it's a very nice way to uh, get answers to any questions you have using ai definitely recommend it i don't use google anymore at all and i suggest you do the same for a number of reasons including the ease of use and uh, better results in many cases. And just the fact that normally we as humans, when we ask somebody a question, they don't come back with 10 links for us. They come back with an answer or they tell us they don't know. So this is what you give us perplexity. If you have any questions, leave them below, please. And until next time, I'm still Oleg. Thank you. Mm -hmm.